Those sturgeon that were left by fishermen like Clyde Roberts had little chance against development. Farming, clear-cut forests that purified and filtered water flowing into rivers. Fertilizers used to promote harvests starve streams of oxygen. Industry discharges poisons that sicken the Chesapeake Bay. Dams cut off migrating sturgeon from their spawning grounds. Silt and dredging turn river bottoms into deserts. And the propellers of giant tankers leave the fish no place to hide. The only hope for the sturgeon of the Chesapeake is good science. 